okay fine so what we are doing here is we are we are going to perform uh, multiple domain authentication basically we have ip phone and we have a pc both ip phone and the pc are connected on the same port mm -hmm. so basically on switch 6 port number 1 ip phone is connected behind this ip phone a pc is connected the ip phone will authenticate using map pc will authenticate using dot one x now for dot one x we have different profile different permission for map we have different profile different permission so what you have to do is you need to get the ip address sorry get the mac address of your ip phone okay now <laughs> You can get your IP, uh, IP phone address using show CDP neighbor command. Okay. Right now, because the port is shut down, you, you won't get it here. So, another way of getting the MAC address of your IP phone is go to your IP phone, turn it upside down. On the back side of your IP phone, MAC address is written. Note down the MAC address. Okay. After noting down the MAC address, come to eyes. So, the MAC address of our IP phone is this you get the mac address of your ip phone go to ice go to administration identity management and identities under identities you go to endpoints because it's a non supplicant device under endpoints this is where the ip phone is so this is the mac address of my ip phone so click on add okay click on add Put the MAC address here. Uh, give me a minute. Your MAC address should be in this format. And what you do is you statically assign the policy of a Cisco IP phone. And put put this device in Cisco IP phone group and submit this. On submitting this, you would get result as you guys get this? Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Now for the phone, you have to create policy, the permission, mm -hmm. authorization profile, which is predefined in the which is predefined in Cisco IS. So you go to policy. Policy element, results, under results you go to authorization and authorization profile. Here you would see something as, read, this is, so we can use this, done. After this you go to policy and authorization pro policy, there also predefined rule is available for Cisco IP phone. If the phone is a Cisco IP phone, which means you find this in endpoint Cisco IP phone, then give this profile. Done. Now, next we have to create policy for the phone, uh, sorry, the PC. Okay. For the PC, we have already the uh, policy is available, which, which are here. If it's an employee, you check the username and password in Active Directory, users slash ICE employee group. If you find it there, you give him employee profile. If you check employee profile by going to policy, results and authorization profile. Employee profile gives you VLAN tag of 172. And EMP dash ACL full access is downloaded for you. Okay, two things. Plus, your re-authenticate timer is set to. This will be the permission what employee will get if you log in with the uh, uh, username of employee. You will get this permission. For this, we again have the authorization created. which is here okay 
So now everything is in place. We have a phone. Phone MAC address is added. We have a PC. Username and password is added. For both phone and for both employee, the PC profiles are created. Our permission should be granted. Okay. So if phone will authenticate, phone will go to voice VLAN 90. So this is the configuration what you need to do on port number 1. Phone will, uh, client will go to VLAN 50 if, if it's a guest or if it fails the authentication. Okay. Phone will go to VLAN voice VLAN. Okay. Uh, it's the host mode. The port is in multi-domain host mode which means two devices, two MAC addresses are, are allowed on this one port. Interface G1 slash 0 slash 1 two devices are allowed but these two devices should be in two different domains one should be in voice domain one should be in data domain okay your orders and priorities are cisco recommended orders and priority cisco recommends to use the strongest method first which is dot one x followed by the map and web auth web auth will be used for local web authentication okay so <coughs> And this is used for your map, which is used for phone. And this is used for dot one x. This is a port interface level dot one x command. This turns on your dot one x feature. Done. And now what we do is, <coughs> this is a, this is your client adapter. This interface of client is connected to IP phone, and IP phone is connected to switch one. Oh, sorry switch 6 port 1 so first thing what I am going to do is I am going to no shut this interface this is shut down right now I will no shut this interface config t interface g1 slash 0 slash 1 no and now I will go and enable the interface also attempting authentication click here employ 1 you get authenticated okay plus phone is also there even the phone will be getting authenticated so still it's doing dot one x so right now if you check <coughs> your phone is still doing dot one x but your phone will fail for dot one x why so it's map and and now phone goes through map and phone will be successful just wait for this your phone goes to voice your pc goes to data show authentication session on interface one This is for phone, oh, sorry, PC. And this is for for the phone. Show port number one. Do you guys get this? You can check the same result on ICE by going to authentication. Okay, and if you check here, this is your phone. For for PC, you see dot one X. For phone, it is do you guys get this? <coughs> 